Once the stretchers have been sanded smooth and the hard lines taken off the round over from the router, put these in our vise and we have to we have to mark on here uh, our, where we want to cut to create the tenon. It's also important to measure the depth of our mortise. So I know just how long I need to cut the tenon. In this case, it's three quarters of an inch. I like to use a sharp utility knife or an X-Acto knife or even a sharp chisel like I'm doing here to make my marks. This is a lot more accurate than a pencil. Now what I'm going to do is take my marking gauge and I'm just going to run it along the butt end of this stretcher. I'm going to scribe a mark so I know how deep I want to set my saw cut up for. And I want I'm going to set the depth of the saw blade to come up underneath the marks that we made over on the bench. already adjusted the stop to cut on the uh, three-quarter inch mark that I made earlier as well. So it looks like we're ready to cut some shoulders. Now the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to set the stretcher on the opposite side of the sled and I'm just going to make a test cut to make sure that my uh, saw does indeed come just to the line. the shoulders and all the stretchers I'll adjust my stop block for the other stretchers which are a little different length and we'll run through them again. Once I have the shoulders cut and all the stretchers I can install the tenon jig on the table saw and I'll put the stretchers in that and I'll set that up to cut where I want it and we'll just rub, run right through and we'll be able to cut them all the same. What I like to do with the tenoning jig as I get the stretcher in there and I blind my saw up to cut on each side of the marks we made earlier and I'm just going to take a little bit off the bottom 
I'll flip the stretcher over and we'll do another pass and then we'll just test fit it on the mortises and the legs. This way if I need to adjust it a little bit one way or the other I know that before I take a, a full cut and possibly end up with a scrap cart we can't use. I had to make a few slight adjustments to my settings but uh, I've got that set up now where that should give us a perfectly fitting tenon. Um, we'll just have to make a few very light passes with the shoulder plane. So I'm going to run through these now and then we'll clean them up on the bench.